My vision was just to see all of our students and the community being able to play together. So what we really wanted to be mindful of this time around was all the changes that have happened with inclusive playground equipment. Really finding those spaces where students don't have to feel like they are by themselves because they're in their wheelchair or because they can't access something. Everyone's in it together. It started over a year ago. It is a uh, national demonstration site for inclusion. It does, it does meet all those key points. With a combination of that and then fitting their unique footprint and needs, it then allowed me to come up with the solutions and kind of move forward with our design. There's nothing like seeing people of all ages, students, adults, people in wheelchairs, you know, three by three, just being able to roll on and enjoy the same activities with their able-bodied peers. Um, it just, it brings tears to your eyes. My son, Will, are up there. Will goes to Cades. We couldn't ask for any place better because it's one thing to have it where it includes kids of all types and abilities, but when you can include their brothers and sisters, you can include their parents, that's what every one of us wants. That's when you talk to any parent who's like us, all they want is for things to be typical or things to be similar, or to be able to do the things that their other kids are doing. So now we can kind of operate somewhat on the same level, and that's just, that's phenomenal. It's about relationship, right? And like, you and I might have completely different interests. I might like Penn State, you might like Ohio State, you might not like football at all, you know? But like, you might ask me about my hat, I might ask you about your shoes, you know? And like, that's what happens when you bring people together.